As we watch the coronavirus chip away at the list of Mardi Gras events, you might wonder how much of Carnival is left to celebrate. It is a particular problem for the publisher of local Mardi Gras magazine, Mobile Mask. But don't give up on the celebration just yet. NBC 15's Darwin Singleton says despite the pandemic, they're still ready to let the good times roll. A year without Mardi Gras, unthinkable, but it's happened before. The good times didn't roll during the Civil War and World War I and II, but here we are in 2021, plagued by a pandemic that's forcing crew after crew to cancel parades and balls in an effort to stem the rising tide of the coronavirus cases. Yes, Mardi Gras will look different this year and feel different this year. You can already see it in some of the throws being marketed around town. But that doesn't mean that Mardi Gras won't happen. Are we still going to have Mardi Gras trees? I sure hope so. Are we still going to buy king cakes? I sure hope so. Are we still going to grill great stuff out on the grill and dress the kids up in costumes and take a lot of pictures? I sure hope so. Steve Join is the publisher of Mobile Mask Magazine, which has become Mobile's go-to magazine for everything Mardi Gras. And yes, there is a 2021 edition already hitting the stores this week. I think a lot of people would have been disappointed if I'd said, nah, we're not gonna put out a magazine this year. Gone are the list of parades and balls and parade routes, but Mardi Gras is much more than that. There's still plenty to see. Feature stories about the people and the organizations that make Mardi Gras happen, peaks behind the scenes, stuff you don't normally get to hear about or see. And yes, Steve does include articles about the pandemic's effect on Mobile's big party, but cancel Mardi Gras, really? It's still carnival season. It's still going to be Fat Tuesday on February 16th. The question now is, how are you going to celebrate it? Giving us a reason to smile, even if it is behind the mask. In Mobile, Darwin Singleton, NBC 15 News.